Hi, I'm Dr. Maslaberg. I have this amazing job. I'm a gynecologist. Because of it, I have access to the newest health information for women, and I'm really passionate about sharing it. Why? Because you deserve to know. Today's topic is on hormone replacement therapy during menopause. What is all the buzz about? Essentially, is it worth the risk? There is a large number of women who are afraid of taking hormones, and some doctors are leery as well. The turnaround in attitude towards hormone replacement therapy mainly began due to the results of the Women's Health Initiative study. This is a study that was stopped early in 2002 because of the higher risk of breast cancer, heart disease, stroke, and blood clots. Many of these women, after stopping their hormones, found in their symptoms of menopause, the hot flashes, the night sweats, the sleeplessness returned with a vengeance. It is very important to understand that in the WHI trial, the hormone that was studied was a synthetic hormone called Prempro. It was given in a relatively high dose and on average to elderly women. On the contrary, studies done with the bioidentical hormones showed very different results than those done with the synthetic hormones. Another important distinction is to understand that the route of administration matters. Whether you're taking the hormones in a pill form, as a patch, or as a lotion. Even prior to and especially ever since the 2002 WHI trial, there have been multiple studies on bioidentical hormones showing a reduction in symptoms of menopause as well as a reduction in osteoporosis, Alzheimer's disease, stroke, and heart disease. These results have shed light and given reassurance to those women who do decide to be on hormone replacement therapy. It is very important to understand that one size does not fit all. Whether you should start hormone replacement therapy or not during a menopause, it should be a decision made between you and a doctor that you trust. So what are bioidentical hormones? Bioidentical hormones are medications made from plant sources. Because they're made from plants, they're often referred to as natural hormones. These are still medications, and the reason they're bioidentical, when they enter your body, they act exactly like the hormone that your own body makes. There are two major places that we obtain bioidentical hormones from. One is from your local drugstore, and the second is from a compound pharmacy. A compound pharmacy is a place where a pharmacist makes the bioidentical hormones, especially designed for you. These are made from ingredients that are FDA approved, even though the actual medication is not FDA approved. Each state has very stringent inspections and certification of compounding pharmacies, and most pharmacists use advanced technology which assists them in producing reliable, reproducible, and accurate dosing. So why use the compound medication? Because it can actually assist in individualizing treatment. There is no single ideal method for checking your hormone levels. Whether you decide to have a blood test or a saliva test depends on which hormones you decide to be tested for. In order to make the decision, you should consult a physician who specializes in performing both tests. The risks of bioidentical hormone replacement therapy are relatively small, but the benefits in eliminating menopause symptoms can be dramatic. Thank you so much for listening, and please stay tuned in for more information, because you deserve to know.